Hello guys, welcome back to the live stream and today we will going to redesign the Netlify CMS. So if you are not sure about the Netlify CMS, uh, it is an uh, headless CMS uh, which you can integrate directly into your uh, into your static site generator. To, uh, if you want to, uh, if you are interested in uh, knowing more about the Netlify CMS, you can check out their uh, website and even uh, you can check out their documentation if you want. I will just share the link in the uh, chat. Okay, so recently I have been uh, contributing to the Netlify CMS uh, repository. Uh, it is uh, open source and available on the github and uh, you can check out the repository itself and i'll just quickly uh, share the live stream update with uh, my twitter followers just a second I am live on Twitch. Twitch TV forward slash Italia show. Okay. Let me just add an emoji that okay. The tweet. Okay, so I have shared the tweet and I'll just uh, start uh, designing the uh, the CMS. Uh, well, I have uh, already, uh, you know, defined, uh, re designed a few components, and uh, I am using the um, atomic design method in which I have designed, uh, uh, separated the design into uh, different sections, which is called atoms, molecules, organism, and next is the templates and pages. It is over here. Here is the template and here is the pages. Uh, I will just uh, give you the quick brief of what I have done till now. So this is my first uh, uh, live stream on the Netlify CMS design. Um, earlier I have uh, done the uh, live stream on the, uh, my first live stream I have done regarding the Jackal website and I am sorry that I have to you know, um, you have to wait for that. Uh, project to continue because I thought that this project is more important and I thought you know it, we, uh, it's good to share with the uh, people around that how I am working on the design and even if you have uh, suggestions regarding this design uh, you are open to contribute to this design uh, I will uh, you can even uh, if you have a Figma account I am using Figma uh, to to design this and uh, if you have uh, any suggestions regarding the design uh, you, uh, you are open to share anything you want and even uh, you can join the discussion on our discord uh, channel uh, discord, sorry on the discord server uh, you can just uh, use the uh, question mark in the discord and uh, you will get the discord url you can uh, join this join the server uh, and uh, chat over there okay so I'll we'll, uh, just start the design I will just uh, first of all explain the what's the overall design so this is the logo the Netlify CMS logo which uh, mainly the component page is mainly for the component itself where every element is the component itself which will be used uh, on the pages uh, section <coughs> excuse me 
<coughs> so this is the uh, the logo uh, which is converted into uh, a component itself and uh, there are a few uh, color palette i am which uh, i am trying uh, i am still not sure uh, which color palette to use these are the main colors of the netlify cms which is currently live and you can just integrate netlify cms into your website uh, you can use uh, any static site generator you can use uh, jackal gatsby hugo or even you can uh, use viewpress uh, and um, and just see how it goes for you uh, these are the uh, error colors i am just testing which one color to use a uh, lighter version or the dark version for the color uh, and you may let me know like if the music is too high or low uh, you know i don't want to that compete with the music uh, sound if it's too high or low okay next we have a few color palettes regarding the text and the text fields so these are just few bunch of colors i haven't added much of them and but in the uh, my uh, color styles i have just defined only three of them and next is the icon section um, over here I have uh, just defined few of them um, and uh, this is the just a cross and uh, this is used for the alert and this is for the menu and uh, this is drop down and rest is uh, obvious you can understand what does it means and these are the buttons and uh, if you are, uh, uh, if you do not want to, you know, I, like I am going through the just an overview what I have uh, designed till now. Uh, if you want me to skip the overview, I can skip it also, or I can just go through an overview of what I have done till now. And uh, even I have uh, already created a video regarding the same. Uh, you can go to my uh, YouTube channel. I have posted the video regarding the same that what I have done that that video might be just probably one or two day uh, older you can even uh, if you want you can um, follow um, you can subscribe to my uh, youtube channel and regarding the video it is uh, this one this is the link of the video in which i have uh, gone through the design update uh, okay so it's uh, i have so it's on the on the third September I have recorded that video. And, uh, I have entered the date uh, in the in the uh, video title itself. So you can watch that video, or if you want, I will just you know go through the introduction over here also. And if you want me to skip, I can skip also. Just um, tell in the comment section. Okay, so over here we have the button section, and we have just a simple primary button, and this is a button with a drop down. And this is a, a button with an outline. And next we have a, a, a button with a drop down. Maybe uh, we, we want to uh, sort something. Uh, maybe we want to sort some uh, by date, by category, by title. For that it, it is used. And these two are primarily used for uh, adding new widget or new uh, field to a section maybe you know we are editing a post and there we want to add a new field in that case this button is useful i will show the use case uh, of this in just a moment and these but these two buttons are used for the login when you integrate uh, netlify cms into uh, your website this is the first page uh, you will see when you successfully integrate into your website uh, you will prompt with the login you can even uh, you are not only you know uh, bind into just uh, any source control you can even use your own uh, email uh, when you generally log in via email or password so you can use that method also but uh, i have only created these two buttons these are the same button which uh, are already there so i am planning to you know uh, tweak this also that how we can improve this also and this is the another design if you look at it uh, properly you will see there's a bit of arrow 
over here also and uh, this is i have taken a reference from the from a uh, comment which has been posted on the on the, on the netlify cms repository uh, i have created all the separate section uh, for the references i have taken and take shout out and thank you to all the all the people who have uh, shared their design and references um, so i'm not going to uh, just copy the design uh, i'll just take a reference and even i will thank them a big thank to them that uh, that their design are being used or maybe uh, some part of it is used or maybe just a reference that yeah this can this part of or this type of design can be used so in that case and next is the field and over here we have a different types of field this is a simple field and this is a field uh, with a heading and with the required star that this field is required and should be added and also this field is also for uh, when a hinted text when a user is not sure what text to enter in that case uh, this field is important and next is a uh, field when we enter some kind of a text uh, i think i have to also i should create a when we are on the when we are active on the particular field you know that the border of that field should get a bit of darker okay so this is a field and just a second this is a hated field Uh, I'm very bad in keeping uh, writing the names of uh, of elements or uh, or the groups. How do I um, write the names? What should I write? Hinted text, and this is uh, here. Watch. Let me. So that's the field without active. And this is a field with active. Uh, over here we have entered the text. Okay, I will change the color of this field. This field I have created the color. Uh, I'm sorry guys, I'm just um, you know, introduce all the give you the introduction of all the rest of things. I just came up. I came. I just came up with this thing, and uh, I need to complete this one first. Let me detach from that uh, instance and convert into a group. And again, we come up with the colors. So, what color we should pick? We need a bit of darker color. Let me. Increase the transparency. I mean, sorry. Decrease the transparency. Okay, this can work. Uh, I need to keep the border uh, color less light, uh, less darker than the text field. I mean, the uh, the text and the the more uh, darker than the without active field. So this can work. Uh, again, uh, the motive of the of the whole design and uh, the whole design I am doing is uh, not a final design. Uh, since I am only contributing to the design, and uh, ultimately the team, the core team of the Netlify CMS, uh, the Sean. Uh, I will just show you who that guy is. Uh, he is. Uh, I have shared the this Netlify. Uh, sorry. This figure file uh, with the team of uh, Netlify CMS who is working on it, and uh, basically the Sean is a uh, is a core member of who is working on the on the Netlify project, and there are other contributors also um, who are working on the who is working uh, on the Netlify project, and. Uh, uh, just contributing to the design and ultimately the team has uh, to uh, finalize the design if the design is not okay 
or even if uh, maybe uh, recently have uh, there was an issue regarding the uh, regarding the error showing uh, that uh, so I have talked with the uh, Sean that uh, that uh, I have told him that I would love to uh, contribute to the design uh, not only to the specific uh, elements but to the whole interface to, uh, to redesign the whole interface so in that case uh, Sean has told me that you should uh, instead of you know redesigning the whole interface you should uh, work based on the issues so if you go to the Net uh, Netlify uh, repository on the GitHub and um, select a label as design uh, area design uh, there are a bunch of issues uh, regarding the design so uh, uh, so i have <laughs> i am basically selecting each and every issue and work working on their specific design and in one of that issue uh, the problem was that the error message was going off the uh, of the width of the field and it was hidden when uh, maybe uh, for example the heading is over here and the error message is showing over here so only this specific area was visible and the rest of was hidden only so that's why i worked on that specific uh, area first and came up with this design and uh, posted that yeah this design could work and so yeah they have so currently uh, they uh, they have reviewed the design and uh, it's still work in progress Okay. And uh, I'm done with this. Okay. Now we have. Uh, now we have a, a just a three types of different field and unactive field and active field and field with the empty text and we have a field with the heading uh, just a second we have a field with uh, heading and we have a field with a required mark or maybe a field is uh, required and it should be filled or should have an something as an uh, placeholder and next we have a field with uh, some kind of uh, restricted text that only this much of uh, text or a uh, number of words should be entered and on the other hand we have uh, maybe when it uh, the number um, exceed when the when the limit exceeds so in that case uh, we go to the minus uh, regarding this i'm still not sure that how that it should look like this only uh, but uh, i just uh, it's the same but I have uh, the same position as over here but I only uh, changed the color and um, added a negative value nothing else and over here we have a field with the heading and the description and next we have the this error fields uh, this is a single line error and this is a multi line error okay next we have the search which is currently and we have to work on that and next is the notifications so notifications can be of any type maybe an error notification or maybe just a simple some uh, some kind of a bubble notification um, but still i am not uh, 100 percent uh, uh, sure that i should go for this kind of notification so my plan is that that this kind of notifications should appear on the top uh, right, uh, top right and top right corner. That whatever the error is or whatever the notification is, it should come over here. Like for example, over here, you can see that the error is showing below the uh, below the field itself. Um, so that's why I'm still concerned that uh, that it should it to be that it should uh, maybe appear on the top right as a overall error that uh, instead of pointing um, that the error instead of showing uh, near to that particular uh, area where the error occurred it should show in the top right corner that yeah this error has occurred so i'm still not sure and next we have the molecules in the molecules we have different many things like we have drop down selections 
post items and sidebars. So over here we have the uh, all these are the different drop downs and this drop down is particularly for uh, when we have a, diff a list of items maybe a list of posts in that case this item will be used uh, I will uh, in, recent, in just a moment I will share this use case also and this will be used uh, whenever we are on the uh, edit page where we are adding the post in that case maybe we want to publish that edit or maybe we have created a new post so maybe we want to publish the new post also or maybe we can duplicate the specific post <coughs> and this is the uh, sort uh, drop down uh, i have talked about this so over here uh, this button can be used so when the user will click on this drop down uh, this will show up and the user can maybe um, sort by title, slug, post date, date, date. So this can be changed and depending on the uh, Netlify team, how they show the data or how they record the render the data, whatever it is. And next is maybe the user, user want to um, sort the data by ascending order or descending order. So it's up to the user. <coughs> And this is the uh, new type of drop down with uh, and this feature is uh, not currently available or um, maybe uh, Netlify, CM, Netlify CMS team is not sure about this uh, feature uh, but I think I have uh, shared the video with uh, Sean um, that uh, where I have uh, talked about the same thing that video also uh, I have shared the link of the video in the chat you can check the video so what this uh, feature is that um, maybe we have a particular field or maybe we have a, a blog post in which generally what happens when we uh, uh, generally now uh, static generators have the option of maybe making a post a draft or unpublished or maybe published so in that case uh, what i have thought that instead of uh, adding that uh, as a text we can improve that uh, interface as a design and make this as a drop down in which the user can select as so this is a generalized over not a specific to that specific uh, of making a post publish or unpublish this is a general concept in which we have a drop down list in which a different uh, status will be there a status of all live pending expired so this uh, drop down list can be changed based on the use case uh, the example I have given is regarding the post, maybe it can be post published or unpublished and next case a uh, use case is regarding the fields uh, over here uh, as you can see uh, these red dots. So what does it mean that this red dot means uh, over here it is expired but it can be of anything maybe it can be disabled that uh, this specific uh, field is disabled. So it can be uh, any use case depending upon the Netlify team uh, how they want to use this uh, drop down list and next is the sections so this was the another uh, issue on the github uh, where they want to improve the uh, improve the design of the drop down list so i came up with this design uh, this is the and uh, uh, contracted uh, section and this is the expanded version these are the you know, two different types uh, with the background color and uh, white background color with the back border and over here we have different type of uh, sections I'll just uh, show you uh, what's the use case of this or I can share it yeah I can share it now so these are the different uh, molecules and now we will use this molecule as organism and over here is the use case so over here we are using multiple types of uh, molecules and atoms uh, you can see here this is the uh, molecule which I used and inside that molecule is uh, in the molecule we are using an, another molecule and this is another molecule we are using I'll just point it yeah just a second okay so i have selected that molecule yeah so this is the molecule we are using inside and inside that uh, molecule 
we are using uh, another uh, atom and it is called the field element uh, the field atom so this is all about the thing i have talked about that atom is molecule and this is all about the atomic design uh, you can search on the google about the atomic design it's an awesome concept and that is the concept we are using over here and over here is the different type of uh, i mean the design is same but the different variation we can say of the of the section design and this is the uh, the new thing uh, i was just testing that maybe uh, this feature is not currently available where we can add new uh, field or widget directly from the netlify netlify schema cy uh, but it is uh, i think there is an issue regarding that on the github i am not sure where you can uh, join the discussion uh, so what's the plan is uh, the plan is that uh, that uh, depending upon the pattern of the widget added so there is one use case which is uh, currently available and you can use that in which we have uh, uh, maybe a, maybe we are using a list widget in which we have some kind of a recurring uh, content uh, for example we have a we have a list of uh, maybe members so in that case we have a, a single uh, item in which we have uh, the name of that member and maybe we have some kind of an id of that member so that's uh, in that case this is very helpful maybe we can add a new uh, a new member so all you have to just click on this uh, add an element and then uh, a new uh, new section will be added and the user can add a new field okay yeah so this is the left this is the left so this is the just an uh, similar uh, simple design in which maybe uh, we have a, a list of uh, blog post items so in that case uh, we have just the title of the blog post and the avatar the user who have uh, made the edit recently so uh, regarding this uh, avatar what's my concept is that the uh, the netlify cms will fetch the data uh, from the git repository and whoever the user or the person has made the edit recently or for example uh, the, uh, only single user has made the edit in that case it's obvious that only single profile picture will be shown shown what if uh, there are multiple users who have made that edit in that case um, uh, there will be different uh, multiple uh, images shown over here and i have to create that design for that also i'm still not sure how should i create that um, but still it's work in progress and this is the menu uh, section what i was talking about over here in the drop down uh, this one so i'll just uh, i have created an all preserve for that also i will show you in just a moment so this is all for the molecules and this is the another molecule uh, it is kind of an you can not a molecule you can say you can say it's an uh, uh, it's you can say it is an uh, an organism only yeah so let me just move to an organism okay so I'll uh, explain this also. This is an uh, a sidebar which uh, which we will be uh, using in uh, in the it's a work in progress. Uh, it's not finalized that we should use as a sidebar in the left side. Currently, uh, uh, if, we, uh, if you go to the Netlify uh, CMS, uh, if you have uh, integrated Netlify CMS into your website, you will see the header is at the top instead of on the left side. So I'm still planning if which plan will work. Maybe it should work on the left side or that or at the top. So in that case, it's still working process. I don't have much to share regarding this. Uh, and at the uh, over here, it's just a logo, the dashboard, uh, just a different type of sections, the posts, medias, uh, editorial workflow, uh, uh, editorial workflow, uh, configuration, and the uh, avatar, or you can say profile settings.
So if you have any questions regarding till now or if you have any questions regarding the design or this Netlify CMS design, uh, feel free to uh, drop your question in the, in the chat and don't forget to uh, use the the command uh, use the commands uh, you can use the discord command uh, in which uh, you will get the discord url you can join the uh, url uh, so you can uh, join the discord server and next is the twitter command you can uh, follow me on twitter and you can check out my tweets also and recently very uh, in few months i have been recently very active on the twitter also and it's quite awesome to use twitter and next is the uh, coffee command uh, and it's an uh, you can buy me a coffee to help me to run this live stream online and if you are, if you are enjoying this live stream uh, you can give uh, buy me a coffee and yeah so i can drink coffee from here when you buy a coffee from me so i will uh, it will help me to uh, drink and coffee over here uh, uh, in my home okay so in we are in the now organism over here we have um, so whatever we have discussed about with the atoms and molecules we uh, we uh, all uh, we combine everything and uh, con convert into an organism over here we get a drop down list uh, maybe we have a button and when we click that button a uh, drop down list appears so uh, when the drop down list appears so it looks this way uh, and this is an, another variation maybe uh, the placement of drop down can be changed also and same goes for the menu these are the different type of menu as shown over here just it is just a different placement it, nothing matters that uh, uh, that how we place uh, the drop down it just meant that maybe we have some uh, let me just show you what I mean this is the rectangle avatar. Okay, to just combine this. <coughs> Wait, I'm playing the component. Okay, so I have created a component out of it, and here it is. Okay, now this is the component, and it is the top of this okay so now we have got the drop down list and the menu also so what i meant by the placement is that uh, currently as shown over here we can place it over here also something like this but maybe we want to place it uh, like this over here along with the menu or maybe we can place it over here also or maybe we can place it this way also it's uh, it's just a preference that uh, that how we want to show the drop down depending on the uh, area or the place available to show the content the figures and I have already discussed about this and now we are in the Netlify updates so this is the another uh, issue on the github where uh, the discussion is going on that for example uh, there are new updates or big bug fixes or new feature or security update in the Netlify CMS. So in that case, uh, most of the uh, developers who are using Netlify CMS in their website or the net developers who have developed the website for the client. So in that case, developers are not sure or not knowing uh, what are the updates or notifications or new improvements in the Netlify CMS. So for that, uh, I have. Uh, use the logchain uh, interface over here uh, if you're not sure about the logchain uh, it's an awesome uh, tool it's not a tool it's a just an you can say uh, it's a still uh, using uh, it's an uh, you can say an open source project which is using jackal as uh, at the core where you can create beautiful change rocks so i'll just share the if you are interested in using uh, log chip for your project you can use it it's a very awesome uh, open source project uh, i can even uh, show you that how uh, log chip works just a second i'm opening the over here okay 
so this is how uh, uh, log uh, looks like uh, it's a uh, free and open source tool uh, sorry the open source project uh, you can check it out it's very awesome uh, over here it's just uh, and again uh, as I said it's an open source project you can even customize the branding you can customize each and everything you can customize the theme um, you can use your own styles uh, you, if you want you can check out their documentation it is uh, available at the link which I have shared you in the chat uh, as I said this uh, each and every post is a change log and close the header simple uh, you, uh, if you want to read more for the specific you can click on the on this time or we, uh, okay we on this one and now you can read the whole uh, change log over here and it's a very simple and awesome uh, project and uh, obviously uh, uh, like I have created this project uh, apart from that uh, I'm saying that I have created this project so I should tell you but uh, from my perspective perspective because uh, I wanted to use uh, create something and uh, create a uh, you know some uh, uh, what happened that uh, I was uh, creating a separate open source project called Jasper and for that I was planning to uh, create a change log but uh, the change log which uh, comes with the GitLab was very simple and not very good looking so I thought you know I'll let me create a, another project where we can show the change log in very awesome way in a beautiful way so that's why I created this uh, another open source project called Logchimp and you can even visit the website logchimp.now.sh uh, and um, the documentation is almost uh, you can say 90% complete uh, there are just few things I have to work on and uh, there are um, many features uh, which are available like custom branding as I mentioned team management and widgets, permalink, mobile support which is obviously uh, the jackal, jackal core uh, part uh, scheduled publishing, badges, RS feed and many more and there are of course another uh, many more features coming like google uh, analytics if, uh, integration pagination, twitter, facebook and many more so you can um, uh, upload this uh, feature request and uh, accordingly we will work on those features if you are interested you can even contribute to the uh, the project or you can help us in improving the, the documentation okay so that's all for the this uh, whole blockchain i'll just close it okay so what i was saying regarding the log chip that there is new feature i have just told you that is a widget so the widget feature we are currently working on and it is uh, not uh, uh, not available in the public but uh, there are just few things uh, I have to work on and I'm still not able to carry it how to fix those uh, if you are interested in helping me uh, working on those uh, uh, those things or if, if you are interested in working on the whole log chip project you can uh, uh, contact me on twitter or even you can join the discord server and we can talk over there and so this is just a uh, log chip widget uh, which uh, native CMS can use uh, the plan is that uh, that whenever the uh, the user click on their avatar a uh, drop down list will show up in which they can uh, there will be just a bunch of options that I am still not sure <laughs> what options to use but uh, one of the options would be uh, change log or updates and uh, when the user will click on that this uh, widget will show up in which uh, there will be just bunch of different change logs the user can scroll or uh, once uh, they can scroll or they can read the change logs they want to by clicking on the specific change log ok so that's all for the introduction um, okay. and let's go
Uh, if you have again, I'm uh, just asking if you have any questions or interested to uh, contribute, you are open to share your ideas. And now, currently, I am working on the currently, I'm working on the, the this part over here when we uh, see the post in different type of styles maybe we want to uh, see the in the list view or maybe we want to see, uh, see the uh, the post in a list view but in different side or maybe we want to see the post in a grid system so currently working on this one and as i was mentioning about uh, regarding the reference and these are the all the images which i found on the issues uh, or in the comments and a big thank to all the people who have um, shared their design on the on the comments and um, so we will not use uh, exactly their design but a few sections that uh, maybe uh, for example over here they have like i was talking about the you know uh, showing an error message uh, in the top left corner so maybe this looks good but it's still uh, not sure i'm still not sure that i should use this or not so it's, uh, after all uh, ultimately in preference that i want to use or not but it's a good option that we have some kind of a reference to see if you want to use this uh, design or not <coughs> like over here we have this uh, tag option the design is look the design looks uh, nice and we can use it not a bad option <coughs> and yeah so there are just few of the designs um, which i found on the network cms and so we will take some of the reference and we will work our uh, work on the design and came up and we will design something new and oh yeah last thing I forgot to mention about the on this uh, icons I found this my uh, uh, icon set uh, by the someone who have designed the designed uh, this one it is yeah uh, this guy who has uh, designed these designs, these uh, five to six, these the person who designed these uh, all six designs has found this uh, icon set from Dribble, I suppose. Yeah, uh, from this guy, and I found this uh, design quite interesting. But what happened? Uh, this is the actual design the actual designs of the icons over here you can see these are the lines which i don't found useful since uh, we are not uh, you know exposing the uh, the the icon size in maybe for, for example 500 pixels instead we are using the icons in very small sizes as i have shown you these molecules as you can see over here the size of these uh, icons are very small uh, these are Think 17 pixel so you can see it's very small so in that case if we use these lines so it will look very weird so over here you can see when i zoom out you, you barely notice those lines so that's why i thought it's a bad idea to use those uh, lines so uh, i have removed those design uh, sorry <laughs> remove those lines yeah okay now i have to work on these three <coughs> we have over here post item let me change this to uh, list view so as i have mentioned in this uh, over here that I am working on the list view so we will be having currently in the Netlify CMS there are only two types of list view first is the uh, this one uh, just a second let me show you
so it looks something like this in which the the each uh, item uh, looks something like this but uh, it doesn't have any avatar or menu it only shows the the title of the post nothing else so it's very simple uh, but so that's why we are here to work on the design of the Netlify CMS Okay, so it should over here just two or three for the reference that how it looks. It looks nice. Now I have to work on the multi uh, multiple avatar also. And I'll just duplicate it and over here list view and plus multiple authors. I'm still very bad in writing the names. So this is the this is my my image. Uh, I just found this image. Uh, it looks good. Okay, so how does it should look in the? Of course, we should have some kind of a, a border around the. Oh, I need to deattach it from also. Just just a second. Let me deattach instance. Okay. So I need to group and create a component again. Do this. Okay. Yeah, coach. Now even if I uh, edit this one, uh, all uh, other two components or multiple com components will be edited. Uh, for example, over here, if I move it, oops. So if I move this, you can see all of them moves also. So it, it is good. So that's the power of component. Okay. So let's work on the design. I'm fixing my chair and the angle is not good. Yeah, it's good now. Okay. Let's work on the design. I'm not sure how it should work. The mother clips. And uh, also, let me know, guys, if you are facing some kind of an issue regarding the stream. Uh, from my end, uh, the stream health looks good. Uh, it is showing excellent. But still, uh, let me know if you are uh, facing some kind of an issue with the with the live stream. So we got this and now we need to add a border. We can add stroke. Okay, so no one that will not work. So the size is 30 bytes.
and I think this can work. Let me stroke another fill. Yeah, it will work. No, 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 no. This can do. So we have added the clips and the size is 32, 32. Or, okay, so it's 31. Why it's not working? The design is. Okay, so it's, sorry, yeah, 32. So it's hiding the previous guy. Uh, let me uh, open the uh, splash and use some other images. this looks good copy image paste I just found this image on the on splash and I hope you will like this image no offense but uh, just saying generally then of the avatar we got an author avatar and the uh, oops the difference is 14 pixel I suppose no it's so, so it's okay, 8 pixel. No, it's it is okay, so it's 6 pixel for it. So check the so much more here. I don't know if it looks good. Three. The rabbit. Second author. Author two. Author three. Author one. So if I name author one at the back. Uh, if we go for the reverse order, let me increase the friends to like this. little bit more okay so this much looks good okay so something like this it should be but the problem is that if you got maybe 10 or 15 
so in that case it will be a problem or what we can do we can uh, fetch the latest uh, person who has made the edit hmm. so that would be nice yeah that would be nice that would be nice check the chat Just a second, guys. I will just continue. I'm just checking into the chat. Shit, shit, shit. I'll just post it in that one chat. Okay, no, it's right. Okay, so this can work, but the problem is, as I have told you, that uh, maybe we got 100 or not 100, maybe 10 to 15 uh, add, uh, add, uh, contributions on particular blog post, so that can be a problem. So, for that, what should we do? So this on the, on the on the right side it should be the latest uh, edit on the left side it should be the older and then what okay let's call it and we should something like this. something like this okay now instead of having the image we got this oh, we don't need this oh we need that we 
void this how hit the image of mine in this I need to remove that okay I need to move this and move this and over here I need to add a fill and I can move the stroke if I want since it will be the last one yeah I can move that it doesn't matter or what can I do is that uh, I can add an option that uh, it, sh it will be compact but when the user will hover on the on the list item it can expand yeah that would be a good idea yeah let me try that that would be a that, that would be a good idea Duplicate this and that would be attached. Okay, now this will be something over here. So, as I have talked earlier, that the distance should be around so it's 8 pixels. Uh, I am counting the distance between the images. Now we have what's the distance? Okay. And same goes for this one. I think I should increase the uh, should I increase the the stroke diameter? <coughs> Sorry, the the width of the stroke. Like, should I make it uh, 1.5? Because I think uh, if we zoom out, uh, it doesn't uh, look very good with a one pixel width. Now we have okay. So this is for the compact. Hmm. Let me add that. Uh, maybe uh, three plus. Okay, so something looks something like this would look good. So what my plan is that um, maybe we have uh, multiple editor on the single post. So that's why it should look something like this. We should have fill color white. We can change the background color. You know what? Let me select this one. We can change the color, it doesn't matter. But it doesn't look good still. Here we go, we can work on that. You know what? Let me increase the what's happening. It's not getting increase. What's happening inside? inside. Oh, so I'm setting inside. If I do center, I should do it outside. Hmm. So that's the mistake I was doing. Now we can do it to pixel if that makes sense. But the problem will be uh, with the you know the width if I set to at two pixels will cause the problem with the sizing of this. Well, let's see how it goes. Okay. Uh, 
format the test group. Let me change the border of this one also. Or should I copy it? I think should I copy? I will copy it. There will be it will be a lot of task to edit, uh, adjust the size and stuff like that. This can be over here. This can be over here. Something like this. So that also doesn't look good. That also doesn't look good. Let me try with 1.5, I suppose. Well, I think for uh, just go for one pixel only. And okay. Just a second, we should add a border to this one also. And drag it over here. No, I will. Other authors. And this will get a top. The, what happened? Oops. Oops, 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 oops. What's happening? Oh, I did it wrong way. It should be 30. Okay. It looks good. <coughs> now I should <coughs> move it forward <coughs> and like this. It's not looking good. Mm. Mm. Let me change the color. <coughs> Okay, so <coughs> it 
it looks good but you can work on that okay now we need to so this layout is this one and now we need to work on this will we go over here and now we will work on the on the post item which will be adjacent to each other there will be no gap and it will be more informational okay so let's work on that we will create a new frame and now regarding uh, this part I have a reference uh, again um, the reference I found from the github issues <coughs> I'm thinking something like this one uh, as I said that uh, it will be more uh, informational where we have the title um, so again since uh, we are using the uh, so Netlify CMS is all based on the configuration file um, and the users can my point is that uh, there should be an option where user can modify how they want to view the data maybe authors or latest uh, edit who has made the changes or date created date update uh, date published uh, or maybe even the status it, uh, is it published or not currently uh, as you can see over here it is categorized into draft under review and approved but uh, i like the concept of this one so let's just uh, uh, take it as a reference and see what we can come up with um, currently i will only focus on this let me just you know just to avoid the uh, confusion i will oops What just happened? Okay, crop. We don't need this one. We need this one and this one. And meet up over here. Oh, now we're good. now we are only focused on this part this uh, the entries we see uh, we will start with a, a simple rectangle and maybe change the color to white and Now we need that this is my first blog post. Font size, font weight regular. Set it and now we need to expand it. The width should be around 700, just an estimate. Height can be less, maybe 35 or 40 around. It can be 35, yeah, 35 sounds good. Okay, this can be over here. Hmm. Looks good. Maybe we can 
fork way to medium so we need to okay so we need to add the sections over here like title should we align it to the left or right center then we will have something like author um, uh, over here I am leaving the space uh, for the check post I think I have created the no I have created that I need to create that also uh, so how it should look what let me quickly create that also so, this looks good yeah so I can quickly duplicate it okay fine and let's go for 2020 Okay, looks looks good. Now we can add this tick mark. Then we can order no component. Oops. Okay. something like this something like this can work I don't know that it can work or not I have to change some color also I can use this color Okay, looks good, but not much. Okay, now let me group that. Check box. Okay. Let me move it. It is not icon. It is not. I think it is a button only. Kind of a button only. We add its different state also, so that will be checked and this will be unchecked. Oops, okay, now we got checked. Check box one check. Yeah, this will be checked. Let me create a component of it. Okay, we are good now. Uh, creating uh, uh, a component is a lifesaver thing. Now let me add the component quickly. Add the buttons. And here we are. We can change the dimensions around 15, I suppose. Yeah, 15 sound look, sounds good. And the position is also nice. And it should be at the top also, where we can select all the fields at once. Something like this. Hmm. What's the distance? 10 pixels, 10 pixels. Okay, we can change it at home. And the background color should be white, of course, it should be white only. Author, and this should be last update. 
products we have okay they are created so we can change this one and Uh, what I am thinking, um, we will click on the section, I mean collection, and there should be an option. Okay, so we can use that option. So, what I was thinking that uh, if you are not sure what I am thinking, of course, you uh, how do you know? So, what I was thinking is that uh, so since this is a molecule which will be uh, embedded in the actual page, and in that case, uh, I was thinking that uh, that uh, over here I was imagining that uh, over here will be the side panel from where we can switch between uh, different uh, uh, collections and uh, according to that uh, the items will be shown over here and then we we'll have uh, some kind of a button over here where we can uh, arrange the posts Let me. Uh, so this will be okay. We need to do that. We got the this thing. Let me copy it. Write it. Item. Duplicate it. Let me change the color of this thing. Let me just go for a double. I know it looks quite odd. Or you know what? Let's go for white only. It will help us to differentiate. Yeah. Where is that? Oh, sh forward one this. This one is when it is centered. Okay, lost code. And over here, we this should be hidden. And when the user over on when the user over on the particular item, this should appear. Yeah last update uh, and since i told you about my idea that uh, how it should render so in that case we don't need to add the category over here and instead of that we can add um, what we can add we can leave blank also what they have added they have added okay they have created we have added the option created and last update so we will do it that way created okay and now we need to dim this color a bit or okay let me take only Okay, something like this can work. Hmm. Okay, and this one.
Okay. <coughs> now we need to add the author. And yes, and then and over here we will add Sean. <laughs> and over here we will be adding date create. So it should be the date created. And what's the today date? It's nine September. So okay, let's add zero five. 05 oh no, 08 2018 this is my latest blog post <laughs> okay now we'll date updating And of course, I will add the latest date. And what will happen if in the date created and a latest date is same? So we can use this also. Does it look good? We need to work on the colors a lot. Okay, now if we duplicate the item, okay, so it looks something like this. Hmm. Looks good, not bad. Um, what I need to do is okay. get that and move it over there something uh, okay so what we have this so it's visible okay now I want it to we got this let me group it I don't know how it will look. Mm -hmm. I don't know. It doesn't look good. Change of plan. Okay, what else? Yeah, we can dim these colors. It looks good. We can even add. Uh, let me move this into section. I will uh, separate group and create a uh, aligned. something like this can work and the color 
and we hmm. does it look good? It looks like an actual sheet now. I don't know. Let me try to move it a bit high. You what? Leave that line. I will just hide it for now. And it looks good. Yeah. Let me change the maybe want to select these two. Check. We can change the instance. Okay, so we were we have selected these two. So we'll do that later on. Yes, so regarding the grid, I think I have captured and screenshot regarding the Netlify CMS. Uh, where it is the desktop? Here's the grid. Oh no! Uh, no. Just a second, guys. I have to capture the screenshot of the grid system gate. And since we are in the grid, uh, okay. Let me see how it goes. So on my other screen, I have opened my Netlify CMS. I have integrated Netlify CMS into uh, one of my websites, and I have opened uh, Netlify CMS over there, and I am capturing the screenshot of the grid. <laughs> okay, screenshot has been taken. Now we need to design this part. So regarding the grid system, what's the plan is that um, in the Netlify CMS currently, uh, when we switch to grid view, only this, only the title shows up, and uh, there is a separate issue going in the in the in the GitHub where uh, it is they are planning that to add more content, and <laughs> obviously Sean has. Uh, Added the label as a new design. So of course uh, this part also includes the. So we I can uh, share the update of this design to the issue. Let me create a frame. Okay. Let me change the mean. We rename this to. Um, list view list detailed view yeah and this will be oops this is the grid view and inside that the color should be this and then <coughs> the shadow 
uh, share, 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 share. I like this uh, box shadow. Let me duplicate this one only. <coughs> Okay, we are good with this. <clears throat> and since we already have the box shadow which looks good, I don't think uh, it is showing. Okay. Where is the box shadow? Where is the box shadow? Okay, so the box shadow is applied to the board group. Oh crap, that's not good. That's not good. <laughs> no, I have to. That's not good. There is not even an option to. I think there is an option. I think we can, uh, but there is an, not an option to duplicate the, I mean copy, paste the specific styles. Yeah, there is not an option to copy paste the specific styles. Three one twenty five. Three one twenty five. Twelve four fifteen. Twelve four fifteen. And we're done. Nice. Let me get the side of this. Great. Just an, I don't know. First, I'm, I will take the exact size. Uh, I'm not sure if the size vary depending on the screen size the user have, but I'm taking the screens, the size of the grid what appears on my screen, and the size is quite big. Let me. Oops, this is not good. Okay, now we can leave that. Now we should have a padding around the grid, and for that. I have this trick uh, which works for me very well. So uh, I'm planning to use maybe 20 pixel as padding, not 20. Okay, so 20 for each side should make sense, or maybe 15. So 20, 10 more, and 30. Yeah, makes sense. Okay, so now we, uh, what I can do is uh, make, uh, and, uh, enter all the content inside this thing, this uh, box. This is my first blog post, and it will be at the top corner. Let me group it. Okay, so it looks. So this is how it looks. <laughs> if we uh, open the grid view, this is just how it looks. Uh, whatever the title is, so that just shows up. But we need to. Uh, we want to show more content, uh, not only the the title. Uh, let 
me check the time. I think it's uh, uh, it's around one o'clock in the morning. So I think it's a good time uh, to uh, end the live stream. It's already about two hours since we uh, are live. Just a few more minutes and I will end the live stream. So I'll just try to complete this as much as I can. Sure. So uh, regarding this, uh, I am not sure. Uh, so what we have done over here is just simple, and like this one, we have just the list view uh, in which we have just fixed content like the title, the avatar, and the menu, nothing else. Over here, uh, and over here, in which we have this detail view. Over here, we don't have menu. But we have uh, the checkbox, the title, uh, author, created by last update, uh, last update. And if we, uh, you know, check, uh, hit on the check mark, and we will get just a bunch of different options. And over here, <laughs> I'm not sure how to deal with this thing because we cannot even add the check mark or menu. Uh, or what we can do is we can keep the grid view especially for the content to show up and if the user want to because we are using different kind of view to depend uh, to show the information depending on the user's needs so yeah it makes sense yeah 